To expedite the startup of After Effects, follow these steps. Navigate to the Edit menu, select Preferences, then choose Startup and Repair. Uncheck the Enable Home Screen option. If your project takes too long to preview, or if something looks off, try clearing the cache. Go to Edit, then Preferences, and choose Media and Disk Cache. You can also make things faster by increasing the maximum disk cache size. After that, restart After Effects and you're all set. If you want After Effects to automatically set the anchor point in the center when you create a new shape, follow these steps. Go to General Settings, enable Center Anchor Point in New Shape Layer, and then restart After Effects. After Effects usually sets your animation path to Bezier by default. If you want to change it to linear, you can do it in two ways. First, select All Frames, right-click, choose Keyframe Interpolation, and switch Spatial Interpolation to Linear. Alternatively, go to the menu, select Preferences, then General, and enable Default Spatial Interpolation to Linear. Perhaps you've encountered situations where files go missing or the root folder of your project changes. In the Project panel, right-click on the absent file, choose Replace Footage, and simply set the new file address. The optimal method for animating shapes is through path animation. To enable path animation, follow these steps. In the Timeline Layer options, go to Content and Find, Rectangle, Rectangle Path, right-click on the Rectangle Path, and convert to Bezier Path. Use Sequence Layers for efficiency. Select All Layers, go to Keyframe Assistant, and choose Sequence Layers. To animate an object along a custom path in After Effects, follow these steps. Copy the path from the Path layer with Ctrl plus C, then go to the Shape layer options, press P on your keyboard, and paste the path with Ctrl plus V. To replace footage, shapes, images, etc., select the item in the project panel, hold the Alt button, and drag it onto the footage or layer you want to replace. The quickest way to create a mask is by using a new shape as the mask. Just enable Tool Creates Mask. A line is very important for creating a professional video. You can enable this feature from the Windows menu by selecting Align. If you choose one object, you can align the shape or object with the composition. If you select more than one shape, you can align the shapes together. To create curves, you need to know how to use the roundness of the shape. First, click on the triangle next to the shape layer, navigate to content, and select Rectangle Path to adjust the roundness value. To create dashes for the line, start by drawing the line. In the layer options, choose Content, Shape, and stroke. Click on the plus button and you can adjust the dash value. When working with line cap and line join, shape your design as follows. Go to options, select content, then shape. Change butt cap to round cap and the other option to round join. Once done, you're all set. By default, After Effects does not have a triangle shape. 
First, select and hold the click button on the rectangle tool from the menu, then choose the polygon shape. Next, go to Options, navigate to Content, select Polystar, go to Polystar Path, change the points to 3, and you're done. Puppet Pin is one of After Effects' renowned tools. To utilize it, select Puppet Pin from the menu. Begin by creating the pins, with the last one designated for animation. Remarkably, on this shape, you can animate all the pins. After setting up the pins, select the layer and press the U button on your keyboard to display all frames for animation. Adjust the time indicator as needed and proceed with creating your animation. For skewing, start by creating text or a shape. In the Effects and Presets panel, type Transform, then either double-click on it or drag and drop it onto the layer. In the Effect Controls tab, you can adjust parameters such as Skew, Skew Axis, Rotation, and more. To utilize the Trim Path feature, follow these steps. Begin by creating a shape, such as a line. Click on the triangle in the Layer Options. Add Trim Path to your layer. Enable the Watch icon on the Trim Path menu for both Start and End. Set a keyframe at 1 second for both End and Start. Adjust the Start keyframe slightly forward. Change the value of the End keyframe from 100% to 0%. For the Start Frame value, change the last keyframe value to 100%. Easy Ease is crucial for achieving a professional look in After Effects. Follow these steps. Start with an animation and create a keyframe. Press F9 on the keyboard or select all keyframes and right-click. In the menu, choose Keyframe Assistant and then select Easy Ease. This will enhance the smoothness and professionalism of your animation. To bounce and animate any object or text along a custom path, follow these steps. Create a path and shape. Select the pen tool from the menu and draw a path without any curved lines. Select all paths you want to curve. From the Options menu, click Content, Shape 1, Path 1, and Path. Now, you can select the path. After selecting the path, go back to the menu, choose the Pen tool again, hold the Alt button, and click on the selected paths. In the Layer Options, select the path and copy it. Find the last path in the menu, select it and copy it with Ctrl plus C on the keyboard. Select the shape, press the P button on the keyboard, and paste it with Ctrl plus V. You can now delete or hide the path as needed. Adjustment layers keep it simple. They capture a 2D snapshot of everything beneath them and apply effects to that bitmap. In this tutorial, I want to demonstrate how to create 3D shapes and enable the necessary options. Here's a step-by-step -step guide. Start by creating a rectangle. In the timeline, next to the parent and link options, click the checkbox to enable the 3D option for your layer. After Effects defaults to Classic 3D, but for a faster and better 3D experience, install Cinema 4D. Once installed, Cinema 4D will appear in your options. 
Select Cinema 4D to enable geometry options. Enable the 3D options, change the extrude depth value, and adjust the X, Y, and Z positions as needed. To import an SVG file into After Effects, follow these steps. Open the SVG file using Adobe Illustrator. Create the necessary layers in Illustrator. Save the file as a AI file. Open the AI file with After Effects. Ensure to set the import kind as a composition for a seamless integration. To export your video as an MP4 file after completing your project, on the main composition, press CO plus M or navigate to the menu and select File Export, then add to the render queue. Maintain the render settings, simply click on the output module. Change the format to H264. Set the destination and initiate the rendering process. Alternatively, consider using Adobe Media Encoder. From the menu, select Composition and add to the Adobe Media Encoder queue. Ensure both Adobe Media Encoder and Adobe After Effects are of the same version. In this video, I am using the 2024 version. Don't forget to subscribe to the Select Motion channel for more content. Have a great day.